Warning, the escapes depicted in this program are performed by professionals and may result in injury or death. Do not attempt this at home. Dean's in the mass of humanity that is Shanghai, China. He's been invited as the headlining act to bring publicity to one of the largest amusement parks here. To make sure this escape goes off without a hitch, Dean's brought his safety guy, Jeff, and Carrie, his theatrics expert. They're on a mission to find the essential tools of the trade, chains. There we go, that might work, that might work. Okay. Ah. Give that a tug, baby. This is gonna That's be good. good and strong. I think it's definitely long enough. I think this is our best bet. We got lots of chain because we got a wrapper on the track. So e bai kuai chen? e bai e bai I think it's 200. 200? Uh, yeah, shi shi. All right, man, let's go. Let's roll. Where did this escape idea begin? Death-defying stunt begins in Canada at Dean's workshop. He calls it the morgue. China calls. He wants me to get chained to a wooden bullet coaster. I'll get my legs chained, my arms chained. It's going to become whipping at me. I don't even know how fast it is—60, 70 kilometers an hour. I don't know, but I know it's going to be fast. It's going to be deadly. Oh, you got the roller coaster picture. Yes. Good. Dean's last roller coaster escape didn't go so well. This is one of my favorite shots of all time. Like, I'm, I'm Superman. I'm flying through the air. But a fraction of a second later, those stupid fins that stuck out the side of the coaster clipped me. Boom! For some reason, his timing was briefly off. The bullet coaster came around, clipped him in the leg. I mean, dude had almost every bone in his foot broken. At least they weren't scraping me up in a body bag. That's absolutely crazy. The worst part about an escape like that is you know, the scars last a lifetime. The Shanghai Express Escape, seven locks, a customized locking neck collar, 20 kilos of chain securing Dean to the track. That's enough metal to contain a two-ton elephant. The wooden roller coaster hits speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. He has 10 seconds to break each lock. That's less time than it takes for you to tie your shoes. Dean must stay calm. When you feel fear, the amygdala sends signals to your nervous system. Your body reacts by muscle contraction, faster than it takes an alligator to snap its jaws shut, making it much harder to break the locks. Best case scenario, loss of hand or finger. Worst case, decapitation, instant death. Dude has to be out of all the chains and locks there and be jumping off the tracks. If it's anywhere closer to that, he's not gonna have enough time. He's gonna be on the tracks literally when this thing comes down, and we don't wanna see that. So when do you start the time? Are we starting it from the time that it hits the top of the roller coaster or from the time that the roller coaster starts? Yeah, we're basically gonna be timing it as it's actually going along the tracks okay. because from day to day the timing can even change for the coaster, right? Oh. Depending on the weather scenarios and all of that stuff. So Breaking up the board. Boys Club is new team member Ava. I will be his assistant. Whatever is required of me, that's what I'm gonna do. Everything's brand new and different, and I guess I just, I'm looking forward to seeing what I have to do next. The team visit a kiddie roller coaster in the area to see if Dean's prepared psychologically. A lot of the escape is about the psychology of doing it, the fear of the mind. So we're gonna take a small mannequin, we're gonna have the coaster come around and just Give him a little bump. See if I'm ready for it. We're gonna do the test run and show Dean what's gonna happen if the coaster hits him. You know, I know other people are gung ho about this, but uh, for me, I was hoping it's gonna change things. Maybe jog his memory and what happened and occurred the last time we did this escape. 
You ready, little buddy? On the count of three, blow the horn. One, two, three. Dean's afraid of going back and doing the roller coaster, and that's exactly why we have to go back and do it. We got to get Dean back in the saddle, man. This is nothing like Shanghai is gonna be, but it's just enough to stir it up, bringing back all these thoughts and feelings and emotions, oh. and that was real for me. I knew it was gonna happen, but oh, God damn. It's cool. yeah. You can do this, little guy. The escape is overcoming fear of taking on challenges, on, on achieving the impossible. I, you know, I've done that all my life. Can I do it one more time? And we gotta go like a hundred times that? I think he was just kind of in shock that it hit that hard and did that much damage. I'm hoping that he'll kind of change his mind and decide that maybe we shouldn't do it. But uh, knowing Dean, I think I'm kind of losing the battle on that one. As an escape artist, you get lots of bumps and bruises. I've died in escape. I busted out my teeth. I lost body parts. You know, it's just like it doesn't end. I mean, it's just it just goes on and on. I think for Dean, it's the pure challenge. He loves it. There's no other reason. Why would anybody strap themselves onto a roller coaster? It's insane. But that's what keeps Dean going. It's a motivation to be the best in the world. And I know what's always in the back of his mind in the shadows is Houdini. As a kid, my passion was Houdini and escaping and overcoming challenges. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with acute lymphostatic leukemia. They gave me a 20% chance of survival, and so I went through three years of radiation and chemotherapy. And so when I started doing these escapes, all of a sudden at school, I became Dean Gunnarsson can do all these cool stuff, rather than Dean Gunnarsson, the sick kid that's gonna die. I knew inside that this wasn't gonna kill me. Maybe it's just the naivety of a kid, but I just knew this wasn't gonna get me. So they want to chain me to the roller coaster and make me escape. All right, let's do it. If I do it, then I got to have something like more difficult, more dangerous. You know, I got to get John to make me some, you know, wicked neck collar or something to chain me down to the track. Dean's headed to see his master of metallurgy, John, to add a new twist to his escape. The idea is that once I'm all locked up around my neck, Right, and it's, it's okay. padlocked on. We'll have some chains coming off that will be locking either to my arm or to the roller coaster. Right. I mean, it's gonna make it more, more dangerous for me, but that's, that's kind of the idea of, 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 of what I want to, want to do in this, this challenge. You want spikes like a dog collar on it, or? Well, <laughs> maybe not the spikes, but uh, you know, like I said, keep it, <laughs> keep it mean. Yeah. Just do what you do best. Okay. He's gonna make something that's really scary. They're gonna see this and go like, wow. They've seen everything, but I know they haven't seen this collar. Escape artist Dean Gunnarsson is mentally preparing himself for the roller coaster escape in Shanghai, China. He vows this will be the last time he does it. I have never met John and I didn't really know what to expect. I don't know what kind of blacksmith welds escape collars, but uh, I'm going to pick it up. Hi, I'm Ava, I'm here for Dean. You need the collar? Yeah, I do, we have it? Yeah. Okay. He hands me this thing and it's a collar and I would not want to wear that thing. I just would not even want to touch it, but I had to, so I did. <laughs> My wife really takes on a heavy burden. Always the hardest part. I never try and think when I say goodbye, it, it could be the last goodbye, but you know, it, it's always there. Having kids has changed everything. You know, here I'm just this extreme escape artist doing whatever I want, and all of a sudden I got a wife and a kids to manage. I gotta make sure I don't die or get really hurt so I can come back there and be for them. We 
Victoria, you're going to be safe. I'm married to an escape artist, and I never thought that would happen. You know, fear is he's going to get hit again. And my thing is, is, as long as he comes, makes it through, comes home to us safe and in one piece, that's... But yeah, it scares me, because it's real. Otherwise, he wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> It's the day before the big escape. Dean and his team scout the Happy Valley Amusement Park for the first time. Wow. Look at the size of this thing, man. It's a beast. This is crazy. I feel like I've just entered into like a gladiator arena. We're here to do the rehearsal for the coaster escape, and it was just the end of a typhoon, and we're still getting, you know, the winds, the rain. It's sunny one minute, it's raining the next minute. That rain's gonna change everything. <sighs> it's been raining here for days, so that's the bad part about the wood, is that the rain is, is soaked in, it's penetrated it. That's it, man. Mother Nature working her magic. Moisture causes the wood to expand and contract, which may affect its speed. So the coaster must come down through. Man, I got a lot of blind spots. That is a killer view, man. That is. Yeah, it's a killer view, all right. <laughs> but not the kind of killer I want. Dean and the guys need to test the timing of the coaster. Wow. Coaster's coming. Almost 18 seconds. He's got to be out of that last lock. Huge problems with the timing today. We ran that coaster up, and every single time that we did it, the timing was off by seconds. Well, I don't know if it's because it's the weather, the track's warming up. There's just so many variables in play. And being a wood coaster, the wood uh, expanding and contracting, I don't know if that's playing a factor or it's just human error in the timing. And in this escape, one or two seconds could mean, could mean Dean's life. Start to hear it's a minute 22 seconds. Yeah. Under today's conditions, Carrie and Jeff have worked out the average speed of the cars to be 82 seconds. It's not exact enough when Dean's life is on the line. Buddy, oh, it should go straight down. And all three of these will have to be locked together. If it does, though, then it doesn't look like uh, it's as tight. Okay, collar, neck collar. Neck collar. Turn around. Yeah. Take another pad lock and lock it to the side. Does that look okay? That's going to be off the hook, man. The big boss from the park has made a last minute request. The Chinese want this eighth lock in there. We've only ever did it with seven. So that was kind of a huge shock to me. I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take him to get rid of that eighth lock and get out. It's just another factor to add to the whole escape. Here in China, people really like the number eight. It is actually considered as rich, uh, wealthy. So uh, this is more difficult for Dan, and hopefully he can uh, make it tomorrow. Dean agrees to the challenge of an extra lock. You know, Dean's such a crazy guy, he's willing to do whatever it takes to please the people here. It adds way more danger, but you know what? It's absolutely gonna be insane when they see this thing. You know, the closer I get, the more I have to put all my distractions away, man. I gotta block them out, I gotta race them one by one. It's just me, those tracks, and that coaster. In Shanghai, China, Dean and his team prepare for the escape at the Mammoth Roller Coaster. I'm gonna get locked with the collar here. We'll have the chains wrapped around. Officials from the park have also added an extra lock to Dean's escape. We came here and it was a complete surprise. They want to add eight, which is a huge problem. It's more time that Dean's gonna have to spend on a lock. It just amps the danger up a little bit more. The night before the escape, Dean, Jeff, and Carrie try to relax in the famous Bun District of Shanghai. 
Take a good look, man. That's pretty, boys. That is so awesome. Amazing. That's worth the price of admission right there. It's escape day. So I got 37 seconds from there to here. Yesterday we did all our test runs. It seems that there's always two to three seconds difference each time. It was raining, it was humid. Everything's made of wood and it's soaked in so much water. So it all expanded and today it's gorgeous out. It's starting to contract. It's gonna throw times off a second or two, which is a big deal. So I think the longer we wait, the hotter it gets. I think the worse it's gonna be. Faster, Dean. Did you see that thing come cooking through? It's going to be harder than that. I'm kind of concerned and worried today. I'm pretty stressed. I'm trying not to show Dean, you know, hoping everything goes well. After one last quick rehearsal, <sighs> Dean retreats to a quiet place to focus. When we set out all our equipment, the sun's beating down. Everything's super hot to touch. The chain is sizzling. I can't even put my hands on it. You could literally fry an egg on this stuff. So basically, we had to cool it down because if Dean had to put that collar around his neck, it would have literally fried his neck. Would have been big problems, man. The escape would have ended soon. It's showtime. I'm very excited to be here today. I'm gonna get locked up to the tracks of the wooden roller coaster over here. Lock her up. Escape artist Dean Gunnerson has only 82 seconds to break free of eight locks and escape the path of a speeding roller coaster in Shanghai, China. It 
It was pandemonium. He narrowly got away. I swear it was like this before the coaster whizzed by. Almost clipped him again, man. Yeah, man, I did it. I did it, man. I did that one for me, man. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. I felt it before I saw it. It was coming. I could smell its breath. It was so close. I think all the media is shocked. This is something they've never seen before. I'm just glad that being safe and he escaped again. I can honestly admit I'm happy to be wrong on this whole escape by, you know, trying to push him not to do it, not to do it, not to do it, but it worked out. Dean has overcome his fear. I'm glad he's done with this and made the promise to his wife because I don't want to do this shit again. Man, you guys all did a good job. Yeah, Everybody yeah. kept me safe. Everybody did what they were supposed to do, man. I'm like an old watch. I take a licking and I keep on ticking. Cheers right. to that. Right. Cheers. <laughs> to you, man. Thank you all, man. <laughs> Cheers. You know, life is a gift to live. You have to go with no regrets. And I want to feel it. I want to smell it. You know, I want to go to the edge and look over and close and defeat it, you know? I don't know how long I've got on this planet. Nobody does. But when my time comes, I want to be able to stand there and say, man, I did something. I did the impossible. I conquered my fear. For more, go to oln.ca.